All right, Patriots, looks like we got a good network here. Broadcasting from the Astro Van Studios, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is March 29th, Friday, 2024. J6 News and chat updates. We're going to be talking about vigil number 606. And day 1,180 of remaining peaceful. How you doing, Patriots? Trying a new experiment. We're just starting into a uh, meme right here. Let me know if that's what you're looking at or if you're looking at my face right now. <laughs> it looks like you're looking at a picture of George Bush dressed up as Bob Ross painting a picture of his uh, magnum opus. Hi, Docs and Grandma. Always the first one. Docs and Grandma, never, rarely are you not the first one in. God bless you, Docs and Grandma. What a patriot. Day in, day out. Docs and Grandma is there to stand for freedom. Hello, Deb Vi. I got my watermark in today, too. Keep an eye on me, though, though. Hello, Patriot Pathfinder. Jerry plus Jerry. How's it going, bud? Annette Park. Carol Burton. Hello. Trusty Mod. Carol Burton. Thanks for being here, Patriots. We'll get into uh, the... Freedom Corner here momentarily. I just want to collect, show a couple memes we got here. I don't know. I just like memes. How about that weaponization of our police forces here? You don't need an AR-15 to hunt, but we need this to direct traffic. How about that, man? Remember when this all started happening to our police forces? The military was selling the equipment and the police forces were buying it up. Next thing you know, we've got these FBI raids with tanks in the front yard, drones under the house, drones up on top of the house, laser sights, night vision goggles. Is that what we want our police to have? Police in England don't even carry guns, by the way. Here's a message to us all. Never forget. Never forget. Live your life worthy of the sacrifice that was given to grant you the freedoms that you have right now. Other people took it serious. Whether or not you take it serious or not, that's irrelevant. This reminds me of a day when we were in the convoy a small water guy and I went up to Arlington Cemetery together, and out of nowhere, one of these processions passed right in front of us, man. Small water guy, thank you for your service. That was a beautiful salute you gave that procession, man. I'll never forget it, dude. Never forget it. Beverly's Tommy got a video out, a new video. Tommy Tatum, man, another Patriot, standing down at the corner. Here we got Bidenomics in action. I did not see Tommy's video yet. I saw one he put up a week ago. He had one of some crooked cop that was uh, lying, lying in court. I'll have to look that up. Tommy Tatum, he's a great guy, man. Hi, Priscilla. Yeah, Tommy put a new video out. All right, check it out, man. Tommy Tatum. He's putting out uh, footage as it comes available. 
further verifying the fact that we know that these cops were lying to us. Every day in that court, good men, good women are going to prison. Their families are living without a parent in the house because these law enforcements are lying. Hi, Beverly. Yeah, I gotta get Kamala off of there. I can't stand anymore looking at her face. Make no mistake, the same people who are demanding you accept and tolerate their way of life passionately hate you for yours and are relentlessly seeking to destroy it. Right in front of our face, man. 1180 days now. We haven't burned one city down at all. It doesn't matter because the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you for you, Yahweh, have never forsaken those who seek you. Title of this video is the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. That's why they can't understand it. So if you hear the message of the cross and you you can't understand it, know that you are perishing. That is what the scriptures say. Who's having a birthday in here? Carol. All right, Carol, happy birthday. Carol Burton, one of the hardest working mods in YouTube Freedom Corner history. All the way back to the beginning, Karen. Or Carol, Carol, sorry. Hi, silly for him. We're just getting started with some memes here, ripping through them. People are feeding me memes, man. So, uh, I want to get them up there. I like memes. Get one more look at George Bush there. Get one more look at what your, uh, your kids are going to get when they graduate college. <laughs> or if you get your gender studies degree. <laughs> Here's what you got to look forward to. Amen, Beverly. A lot of good verses there, right? Hello, Gene Shannon. Come on in. Patriots, assemble. Yeah, how about this one? So, if we lie to the government, it's a felony. But if they lie to us... It's politics. The pill is always better with a little sugar. A little laughter helps the truth settle in, gets you laughing, and then gets you thinking. Hello, Michael Dolan. Thanks for being here, bud. Another trusty patriot. What so many fail to understand is that MAGA is not about Donald Trump. MAGA is about America. We, the people, were searching for someone, anyone, willing to fight corruption and preserve freedom. And we found that in Donald Trump. He is our voice. You see, it's not a cult. It's a revolution. And all we want to do is make America great again. Everybody prospers. A rising tide lifts all ships. Whoops. They've gone after Trump for six straight years. 
And the only thing that's been missing was a crime. Weaponized government, people. Weaponized justice. All right, cue the cat. Jean Shannon, hello. So yeah, Carol, we hope you're having a great day today. You are awesome. If you accept restrictions on free speech for any reason, it means you didn't have an education, you had an indoctrination. Big scary words. How many J6ers are in jail right now for big spooky scary words? Six things you don't mess with. My faith, my family, my guns, my flag, my country, and my freedom. It does seem to be a time for that, Michael Dolan. Know your neighbors. Who's going to be calling the boot jacks on you? Trump allies prepare to infuse Christian nationalism into second administration, says the left-wing news politico. We should live our lives as though Christ were coming this afternoon. That's Donald Trump. Oh, no, that was Jimmy Carter. My, how the times have changed. My, oh my, how the times have changed. All right, Patriots. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are zoomed in. <laughs> whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, we got a full gale day, full gale, full sail, red flag day. All the flags are standing up today. Press briefing on the bridge and so many with Trump derangement syndrome was in the chat. It's, it's a sight to behold, right? Blaming Trump for the bridge. <laughs> There's a lot of lessons to learn in what this day represents. Today is Good Friday. It's the day our Lord and Savior was crucified on the cross and put into the tomb. Day of reflection to understand the sacrifice that he went through to give us a reconciled relationship with God. Yeah, Tina, did you see, hi, Tina. Sorry, that was that was way zoomed in. I didn't know that was going to happen. I'm trying some new things here today with putting in the uh, memes, starting off with a meme on the screen. That's right, Michael Dolan. Let us old parts handle this. <laughs> Ain't it something, man? Who is God given the the battle to? It's us old guys, us old ladies. Yeah, where did the honor go, Cleo? What is honor anymore? Does anybody even understand what honor is anymore? Share it out, Michael. Share it out far and wide, man. Get the message out. It's the only reason we're doing this. Somehow or another, I'm getting through the cracks. They ain't shutting me down for anything. We'll keep doing it till we get away with it. That's for sure. So I just wanna, I just wanna show you the flag, man. We got the flag. We're at the Astro Van Studios today. We got a freaking, 
full on flag day. That's what you hear flapping in the background there today. I love it. I love it. So here's how we do this. We put you guys in the van here. I'm standing just outside of it. The flag's shading the sun out of my eyes. Everything's working out perfect here right now. Tina, somehow or another, we broke out of the indoctrination. I was indoctrinated. I can remember thinking, communism isn't that bad. Like when I was about 17 or 18 years old, just getting out of school. If everybody would just be cool, communism would be great, right? And then you figure out everybody isn't cool. You get these people that they, want, they just want power. They just want uh, money. They just want to get away with their perversions. And look at what's going on with the P. Diddy. I mean, what, what's going on there, man? Hugh, it goes all the way back to Hugh Hefner. P. Diddy lives right down the street from Hugh Hefner's mansion. So Hugh Hefner, Ep, Epstein ain't the first one, man. It went back to Hugh Hefner before that. And before that, somebody was doing the same thing, learning how to compromise anybody that had any type of influence or power in our government or our corporations or our schools or anywhere. Anybody had power. They would go after you and corrupt you. And uh, we're seeing that. It's wide out in the open now. Just because we started up, stood up and started pointing fingers at it, right? That's right, Tina Astro Van Studios. Using the tools the Lord has delivered into my realm. <laughs> so I, I believe that I was indoctrinated and I broke out of it due to the grace of God. You know, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. <clears throat> So, and we got, we got Patriots down at Freedom Corner in Washington, D.C. They've been standing up against the regime in their face, in their hometown, every night for 606 nights now. And uh, without, without missing a day, okay? This is Mickey Widoff, who is Ashley Babbitt's mother. This is Nicole Reppitt, whose husband was the first J6er to get sentenced to 10 years in prison. And as ongoing... Con uh, ongoing legal battles happening and Tammy Jackson whose husband is in the gulag right now getting abused with the system every single day and uh, that's what we're reporting on what happens at their vigil every night man we're not that's about all I can keep my 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 uh, my uh, attention on, you know, I can I can handle like watching that, taking notes, and then passing it on to you guys if you don't have time to watch the whole thing. Uh, there is lots of great elements to watch in the vigil every night. Uh, we get phone calls from the J6ers who are in the DC Gulag, but we do not get calls from the people who have been tried and sentenced and sent out into the Bureau of Prison system which is a federal system because they don't let people call out. They, they shut down any speech that those people would have to uh, reach the public with their free speech. Amen. A person with TDS asked why people believe in making America great again. And Julia said, to bring back morals and get back pride in our country, man. What is wrong with that, you know? They want us to live by their morals, and their morals are decrepit. That's, that's the problem, and uh, that's what we're standing up against. If you want to be a degenerate, you can be a degenerate. You have every right in the world to be a degenerate. But I don't want to have laws that foster more degeneracy. I don't want you anywhere near my kids either. And that's what they keep trying. They keep poking us in the eye with that. Getting next to our kids with their degeneracy. So we're covering the J6 vigil down at Freedom Corner. This is what happened last night down there. It was six, the 606th night in a row 
that these people have stood outside the D.C. Gulag in Washington, D.C., which is the jail that the, every J6er has been held while they were attending trials in the only town that any J6 trial has happened, Washington, D.C. The bubble, the 98 percent FJB voters in, D in D.C. This is not a jury of your peers if you uh, voted for Trump, basically. Tammy got on the microphone and made us aware of that. Mickey and Nicole took a little trip up to New York uh, to attend the Gutfeld Show on Fox News, man. They were in the audience last night. I didn't get a chance to watch it because I don't have TV. And uh, But I hope that it was a good escape to get off a of Freedom Corner for a while, hang out with some good patriots there, uh, and then see, you know, go see the TV show being broadcast out of Fox Studios there with Greg Gutfeld. Tammy also reported uh, that there is a certain Miss McCain. Miss McCain, how are you, Miss McCain? Who works at the DC Gulag, has a position of power, no doubt a DEI hire, who, uh, who just got her, you know, got her panties all bunched up, and she got all angry because... A lot of the J6ers like to put a little flag, a postcard-sized flag in their little window so that uh, uh, on, the, on the door of their cells. And this Miss McCain went in there and threw a little tizzy in front of everybody and, and got angry because she couldn't see into the cells good enough without that, with that little flag in the window there. So she made all the COs go in there and uh, she, wanted to, she wanted to create a shakedown, which is where they empty out the cells. They go through all your goods inside the cell. Uh, they confiscate things. They destroy things while they're in. They mess everything up. But Miss McCain, you got shut down by your own guys there. Too bad. The CEOs went in there who are currently holding peace with our J6ers in there. And uh, things seem to be going rather smoothly on site in the pod that they're all in and they said look guys just take the take the flags down until she gets her ass out of here and then everything's cool all right all you got to do is appease this one crazy woman who seems to have a position of power at the gulag so that's all you got to do uh the, the j6ers they are not domestic terrorists these guards in there know this now and uh, Miss McCain, you're a tyrant. That's all there is to it. You just proved once again that you are a tyrant. There was no reason to get all bunched up over that stupid little thing. Just like the other one, uh, Lancaster, uh, that, that sprayed the bear mace an inch away from somebody's face, right in their face. And then they threw him into solitary confinement for over a day without water to wash the shit off of his face, man. These people have tortured our J6ers. It's about time uh, America finds out about this stuff. Hard to wonder why they haven't found out about it, but uh, we're not in control of the media yet. So, Miss McCain, your days are numbered, Miss McCain. That's all I'll tell you. Because this whole thing is turning around. Your wickedness is on display. It's out on YouTube now. That's all there is to it. You're, you're, you're exposed, Miss McCain. Uh, Tammy also mentioned that there was a Marshall visit today. Uh, I don't know what, what transpired with the Marshall visit, but apparently the Marshalls are kind of scrutinizing the treatment of the J6ers because so many um, grievances, grievances have been filed. And Chris Quaglin is just pushing all the buttons. He's ready to go on trial. He's bringing these grievances front and center in his uh, dispute with the United States government. And it does seem like that seems to be working. So pray for Chris Quaglin, man. The dude is standing strong, strong, man. He's centered. I think God, the hand of God is on this effort that uh, they're all going through right now. But right now, Chris Quaglin is in the thick of it, man. He's in the thick of the battle right now. And furthermore, we could call city council. 
uh, about the treatment of these J6s. Currently, we've been calling the warden. They got two wardens and a deputy warden, and, and they just, they just, uh, they were flying these flags over to over to Gulag. The latest, the latest flap was the flags were all ripped up that they were flying on top of the jail there. But we made 300 phone calls or whatever, hundreds of phone calls. Finally, they put new flags up there. We got them to mow the grass. We got them to fix the phones. We got them to get haircuts for the guys. They weren't even giving them haircuts. We got them to have visitation uh, at least one day a week. All the rest of the jail gets visitation three or four days a week. Our guys still only get it one day a week. And nothing, they, they've been out, just out to mistreat these J6ers for 1180 days so far. And we're, we're standing there fighting it, man. Um, and I think God is allowing us to do this. So we will continue to do it as long as God allows, man. If it be thy will, we will stand. We will stand, man. Yeah, they treat uh, criminals better than they treat these guys, man. And the whole farce that these guys are so dangerous they can't get out on bail prior to their trials is ridiculous. America... See it. It's there. We're telling you it's there. Just trust us. It's happening. We've been standing there for 606 days. Uh, it's happening. It's happening. But sometimes you just got to grab people by the ears, pull their eyelids open, and make them look at it, you know? Check out the uh, thumbnail picture for this video. Okay, so we could be calling city council... I did do some investigation like a month ago. This prison is privately owned. It's a money-making business for some people. We could be calling the owners of this prison. And, you know, we're just peaceful people, man. We just want this to, to get remedied, man. We just want the foolishness to stop here. But it just continues to go on. It continues to go on. All right. We're getting links. Sorry, I didn't see any links yet here. Federal judge orders release of J6 defendant while condemning DOJ for fact-free approach. Well, what do you imagine that? Imagine that. Evidence and facts have anything to do with D.C. court? Hey, Gator girl. Hi, Lee Sorensen. Good to have you, man. Boomer. What's up, Boomer? Okay... Right on, right on. Good to see all you patriots in here. Awesome. This is awesome. Coming together once a day. Figure out what we can do. What are we doing? Keeping up on what's going on with the J6 vigil stuff. And the, and our, our patriots, our heroes that are still sitting in prison. This is an atrocity. Uh, Sherry got on the microphone then. Sapphire Patriot, another great patriot. Live streaming from the corner every night for a long time now. Uh, it is our duty to speak up. It's our duty, man. If we don't do it, nobody does it. So, uh, and the reason that this has all been happening for so long, for, for a while now, is the fact that we've been lazy Americans not standing up to this stuff. And then she did mention that we got the victory with the flags finally over that uh, over that prison, man. All right, man, this is some good J6 info here, silly. Federal Judge Reggie Walton handing J6 cases, handling J6 cases goes on CNN to rip Trump in an unprecedented TV interview. Oh, this is good. Did CNN give him enough rope to hang himself on? Is that what happened here? A judge. Let's get the judge. You know, judges are supposed judges are supposed to be impartial, aren't they? They're supposed to be experts at the application of law and punishments and stuff, man. C4 freedom. It might be the way to go, man. This jail's owned privately. And it's city council that contracts that to to these owners of the prison down there. And they've been mistreating. I mean, freaking torture. They've been torturing these guys for 1,180 days down there. It's got a lot better now. But man, was it horrible when it first started. And nobody was listening to anything. And they fired that Lancaster warden 
uh, Lieutenant Lancaster. Uh, I think charges should be coming to Lieutenant Lancaster. I haven't seen anything pursuing that aspect of the whole thing. But you can come back and get her later. Just because she got away with it then doesn't mean she's going to get away with it forever. When we get uh, a, a rational court system in D.C., one that operates the way courts operate in the rest of the country, I think Lieutenant Lancaster's head's on the chopping block, man. She already lost her job, but man, there's... that. that those were uh, those were assaults, man, that she performed on our J6ers about a year ago. Trans the White House is declaring Easter Sunday is Trans Visibility Day. That is disgusting. Lee Sorensen, ding ding ding. The money-making idea of the day. Should we be looking at buying a jail before Trump trades a swap? I like how you're thinking, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not, man? We know what's going to happen as soon as Trump's in office here. We're going to have a lot of people need some uh, cell space. That's for sure. Retribution. All right, the first, first phone call tonight was Chris Quaglin. And he was saying how people don't realize how screwed up this country is, man. And I can't reiterate the fact that we should be praying for Chris Quaglin right now because he is standing. He is in the thick of his battle right now. He needs power. He needs power from God. And he's got an angle that's working, man. Uh, he's got the marshal services coming in. He's got the uh, Judge McFadden on edge, the Trump-appointed judge, man. And he's been sending these letters. Uh, it, something's, something, hopefully, is happening with Chris Quaglin's trial that, that is different than all the other ones. And it may be the one that, that just breaks the camel's back, man. It very much could be, man. Hey, Greg Kelly, happy Easter, too, man. Happy Passover. So, yeah, Chris Quaggan was saying about how screwed up this country is, man, and talking about all the all different instances about that. And Chris Quaggan says, I do not consent to this. This is not what this country was founded on. These principles are far, far from the principles that originally established this country. The ones that we believe that we live under, man. All right. And then, uh, the next phone call was from uh, Johnny Pollock and Joseph Hutchinson, man. And these guys are just... All they wanted to talk about was Passion Thursday, man. So yesterday was the day that Jesus prayed in the garden before the, uh, the, uh, the temple guards... The religious leaders took possession of them, kidnapped them, delivered them to the Romans today on Friday, years and years and years ago. So uh, what uh, Johnny and Joseph Hutchinson wanted to talk about was Passion Thursday, man. The, the day that Jesus prayed in the garden, man. And they were saying about how, the, how they got the peace that passeth all understanding. I mean, if you're perishing and you don't even have a clue what that means, uh, you're missing out, man. You better stop yelling at people and listening. I'm talking to all you trolls in here, man. God sent you here to hear the message of salvation. Uh, he he died for he died for you, basically. He died for you, whether you accept that or not. Uh, the just for the unjust. And that changes everything in this world. That saves us all, man. So John, Johnny Pollock and Joseph Hutchins were, were just talking up the, the scriptures, their faith. As, as Christians, we trust and we obey. It's a very comforting thought to know this. Like, we don't got to figure stuff out. All we got to figure out is what God wants and do it. And then God promises to take care of you, basically. And it also was... Uh, Joseph Hutchinson's birthday too. 
And it sounded like he was going to try to get through the night without anybody noticing that, but somebody in Troopers chat noticed it's Joseph Hutchinson's birthday. He was on the phone, so he got happy birthday song to him, man. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Spending his birthday in prison, man. But he's a hero, man. He's a patriot hero. He stood for us. All these guys, they stood for us on January 6th. For the rest of America that's just catching up, we're talking about an event that was three and a half years ago. In 2021, on January 6th, there was this event that they showed every showed you all on TV. Everything they showed you on TV during the past two years was a, a lie, okay? And they are still arresting people on a weekly basis for events that happened on January 6th, 2021. Just for all those in the back that haven't been paying attention for three years, in case you're new to the channel, this is what's still going on. This is what your taxes are still uh, paying for right now. Your taxes are going to take these patriots off the street, run them through the grinder at this DC courthouse and throw them in prison. So far, there's been over a thousand years of jail time sentenced for J6ers for a six hour delay of Congress on January 6, 2021. At what point does this become just so ridiculous that, and, and they're gonna keep doing it. So America, sooner or later, we're all gonna have to stand up. If you wanted to go to 2,000 years of jail time for a six hour delay, just sit down and do nothing. But this is where this has gotta end, patriots. I mean, everybody can see that this is asinine. This is insanity, insanity. All right, and right now we got this gal going to, going through courts, man. Rebecca Laverne's, man. She's been in court all week this week. I, I, I'm not sure if this trial has ended yet. This woman is 71 years old. She's a great grandmother, went to uh, the Capitol on January 6th, didn't even see any of the violence, walked around to the backside of the Capitol, didn't hear anything going on because she's hard of hearing. And went to the back of the Capitol where people were just hanging out and going in the doors that were open. She went in the doors and prayed and then left the Capitol. And now, now they're trying to throw her in jail, man. 71 years old, three and a half years after the fact, they came and busted her. So uh, America, sooner or later, I mean, we're gonna have to start peeling your eyelids back and making you look at this stuff. Cause this is an abomination of justice right here. This is not what America is about. This is this is socialism, capitalism, tyranny. Right, and there's a debate whether or not JC, J6 was even a, an official proceeding. That's right. 140 of our representatives said that was a rigged election, by the way. And by the way, zero cops died on that day. That whole Brian Sicknick funeral that they... Uh, showed you all for three days was a farce. Brian Sicknick died of a stroke the next day, but they told everybody in America that he got hit in the head with a fire extinguisher and died. Lie after lie after lie. Why do you even watch the lies anymore, man? That's right, C4 Freedom. God's hand is on these guys because they're not going insane. You would think you would go insane uh, being in jail unjustly like this, but these guys are definitely uh, doing all right, man. All right, Donna Ray, Jericho, watch the doc January, Jan Helper interview at Elijah's stream yesterday. All right, I'll try to check that out, Donna Ray. There is a lot of good stuff out there. Okay, we got the Rebecca Lawrence, Laverne's thing, information up there. All right, sounds cool. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, small water guy. Good to have you here. I know, this poor woman, man, Rebecca. I mean, prayers up for Rebecca La Laverne's. The Sam J6 committee deleted evidence. They didn't archive the evidence. They all kinds of shady stuff going on. Now we got Barry Loudermilk apparently doing another J6 investigation, but I don't have a whole lot of faith in our Congress anymore because it's been three and a half years and they haven't done a damn thing yet. So I mean, you know, more power to Barry Loudermilk, but let's get to the bottom of this. When does this end? 
Come on, Jim Jordan. Come on, Tom Fighton. Come on, let's go, let's go. This is ongoing, and none of y'all came to Freedom Corner yet, except for Matt Gates. Matt Gates and George Santos, the only two Congress people that have ever been to Freedom Corner. Imagine that, and they got rid of George Santos. See how that works, America? All right, then we got a call from uh, David Geitzen, another fine human being, fine patriot, man. He's been saying thank you for letters. He was naming names. He was telling people, all right, this, you know, the, he, was, he was saying the names of people that he had gotten letters from and how much he appreciates that fact. Uh, and also, chit-chat, hanging in there, trusting in God, uh, realizes what Easter is, what, what Passover is, and uh, realizes the sacrifice that was given so that he could be uh, in a relationship with God, man, so he can have ex access to the fountain of life and the fountain of truth and the fountain of wisdom. Jeff Sable was the last call tonight. They uh, sang the national anthem. We had like, I don't know, 15, 15 patriots there last night. Zero opposition. Uh, I mean, we used to have opposition, but they've given up at this point. They, they, uh, can't be motivated enough to uh, stand against the fact that we want to have a vigil down there. Weak, very weak. Uh, Jeff Sable, after the anthem, there's some chit chat about news. And of course, there was the whole uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge disaster that has happened and all the goofy stuff that's happening with that. All the crazy stuff. Joe Biden says, we're going to pay for that bridge. We'll put, we'll build a new bridge, right? So Joe Biden, you're spending our money. We didn't like okay that in a normal, you know, the way America, the what the America that we're trying to make great again used to say, we the people had a say in what you did with our money. You're not like a dictator, Joe. You can't just determine that you're going to build the new bridge with our money, okay? And furthermore. There won't be an investigation if you just say that, okay? If you're not gonna build the bridge, the insurance companies, the shipping companies, the container companies, the harbor master, the, you know, nobody's gonna have an investigation. So, Joe, is that why you wanna just pay for the whole bridge? Seems clear as day right now to me, man. Why do you wanna just pay for the bridge, Joe? Let's, let's find out what happened. Let's have an investigation. And, and if there was any uh, shenanigans going on there, let's make them pay, man. This is a law and order system here. The shipping company should pay for it. We got to find out what happened. We got to find out what happened first, you know. So much conflicting information is out there. Yeah. Truth is going to come out there, Five Star Angel. You can't hide it. You can't hold back the truth. Unfortunately, the truth, <laughs> it takes a while to get going. But that way, all the wickedness is exposed. And then you can take care of it, man. Flush it. Flush it with the rest of the swamp. What's up with Bill Clinton? Okay. Uh, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and FJB are in New York doing a fundraiser while Donald Trump is going uh, attending a, a wake for a fallen officer that was murdered in uh, New York City, okay? Last I saw Bill Clinton like a year ago, he looked like the Crypt Keeper, man. His face was about to fall off, right? Where did, when did Bill Clinton get a new face installed? Uh, cause that was not the same Bill Clinton that I've seen a year ago, man. Bill Clinton's like, he's old, man. And it was not looking good there for a long time. And I don't know, somehow or another, he just had a whole new face installed. He looks like a, a 40 year old man or something. Right. Two minutes of missing data on the black box. How does that happen? The black box turned off and turned back on. I never heard of that happening before. So they don't want an investigation of this, obviously. So that tells us a lot right there. That tells us a lot right there. 
Yeah, I can't force myself to watch them losers either, Bonnie. <laughs> All right, here's our man, President Trump, man. Family and friends of Officer Dillard broke out in cheers for Trump at the wake, man. And I also heard that uh, Donald J. Trump also made some arrangements so that their house, uh, they don't lose their house. Yeah, I'm disgusted by Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and FJB, man. These people are traitors, traitors to this country. Uh, one of the other things that Jeff Sable started talking about, an uncanny coincidence here, is I don't know if you guys have ever heard of CERN. CERN is a particle accelerator tunnel that's over in France, I believe, right now. CERN, C-E-R-N. It's a French thing, French word that means it's a particle accelerator, okay? They've been doing, they've, there's been all this weird stuff about CERN. It's cost billions of dollars to build this thing. Uh, they have had these creepy ceremonies outside of it where they're dancing around, they're doing a mock sacrifice. They got a big statue of Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction with the eight arms and they do these they've done ceremonies around it I don't know if they're joking around or what but it's creepy man and this CERN had to go offline they had to shut the thing down because they had to rebuild it they had to dump another couple billion dollars into fixing this thing up again and uh, apparently the CERN is supposed to come back online on April 8th which is, an, uh, uh, you, you all know what else is happening on April 8th is we're going to have a solar eclipse that's going to pass over the entire continental United States, man. It's going to go end to end. And uh, I, Jeff just found that unusual that they were going to be firing up CERN on the exact same day with the solar eclipse. So I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with that eight. Right, they're going to activate it, Boomer. Right, that's, that's what... Jeff Sable said, I haven't seen anything like that yet on the news or anything, but I'm saved. You know, it, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Trump donated the remainder of the money owed on the New York Police Department officer's home. Wow. Wow. That is that is very cool. Yeah, Tina, I don't, Bill Clinton looked totally different, man. Totally different. I mean, if you, I haven't got old photos out of Bill and put them next to, but I mean, his, his face was rebuilt. Whatever was standing there next to Barack and FJB yesterday didn't look at all. It looked, it didn't look like Bill Clinton at all. Even a young Bill Clinton. I mean, it, it's probably an actor. Yeah. Bonds, yeah, they're probably, that's what people have said a long time for CERN, is that it's some type, type of a black hole they want to open. They want to open a portal. And that's what Je uh, Jeff Sable was saying, man. It has to do with string theory uh, and multiple dimensions, you know. So they're they're into this, this stuff that the Bible really doesn't talk about. So we got to question whether or not it's true. And uh, they, they're spending all money our money on it so i don't i can't imagine that we should be dumping any type of money into something like this it just doesn't seem good <laughs> yeah yeah bonnie it's like he had a whole new face installed i don't know man April 8th, your dad's birthday there, Julius. That's right, Carol. It could be biblical on April 8th on that on that uh, solar eclipse, man. That's what God put the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky. It's right there in the first, you know, first page of the scriptures. It's right from the beginning, man.
Okay, then Jeff Sable, they were talking about the uh, bridge disaster, and there is some type of a link with Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law was CEO of a shipping company, and some people are saying it is the shipping company that owns that boat, but I don't know that for sure. But Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law did die by strange reasons. Apparently, she was in a Tesla that accidentally backed into water where she drowned, and which is odd. And then, like, days later, Mitch McConnell uh, announced that he will not run for re-election again in Kentucky there. So we'll see what happened. Uh, Mitch, or Jeff Sable also mentioned that this ship has had a prior accident that happened on to that very ship, the uh, Dolly. It's called the Dolly, D-A-L-I. That ship crashed into some cranes earlier, backed into a dock or something like that, from what I can tell. And all of this is to damage our economy. We have no idea yet on the repercussions to our economy. And not a lot of people talking about that or what we're gonna do to head that problem off in the at the pass, okay? Uh, what is going to be the the repercussions of this whole port being shut down? What were they shipping in and out of that port? Uh, what what goods are we not going to be receiving because this port is shut down? I have heard anywhere from five to ten years. People are saying it's going to take to reopen this port but i can't imagine it's going to take that long i mean you just get some demolition ex experts in there and blow that stuff up under the water who cares about the endangered species fish you know we don't need an environment uh, a three-year environmental study to find out if we can get the port open back up hello but i'm sure the uh the people that believe the earth rotates and is here due to their efforts uh want to have like environmental studies and all that before but you can just go in there with explosives blow the stuff up and uh you know lift out the stuff you can open the port back up basically is all we're saying man just to remove the bridge yeah it's a lot of a lot of steel in there which you know maybe we should question why we built the bridge like that in the first place too Seem to be an awful conveniently located, flimsily built bridge if one, if this could happen. Basically, the boat can hit the bridge and the whole bridge falls in, knocks the whole port out. Who was the Einsteins that came up with the idea to build that highway, you know? Uh, not my realm of expertise, but somebody did. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to put that bridge right out at the mouth of that port and have it be so susceptible to one boat hitting it and shutting down the whole port it just seems silly to me right now right that's right tina well a lot of this is just uh distraction right we can use another port there boomer there's a lot of options a lot, a lot of uh fear mongers out there right now saying stuff like that though so this is all good to see if you're listening if you're getting your news from the right people um, uh, a lot of times, like the test for a false prophet is if, if they prophesy something that doesn't happen, they're not a prophet. They're not a, they're not from God. So it's easy. If you just take a step back and, and figure it out, it's not that hard, man. Three to five years before it's operational. Okay. Silly for him. She was CEO of her family's shipping company foremost group the dolly is owned by ocean grace okay so that was information that was out there like two days ago everyone was saying oh it's mitch mcconnell's wife's you know that's how rumors get started i guess and i know we talked about it Yeah, and I'm I'm still looking at video footages of all of what happened there. What's on the boat? I want to watch them dismantle it and take it apart and uh, get it out of there. I want to know what's in them containers. Did this happen because of what was on that boat? Somebody didn't want those containers getting out of America? 
or did this happen? Did they just use that ship to destroy that bridge because they wanted to, sh you know, cause economic disaster? There could we still don't know who or why the motivations were? What the motivations were to take that bridge out? But in all, it was a successful operation, regardless. Got to got to hand it to to that part there. Oh, uh, Angelina, I... To watch that video I sent, I think. Or no, no, I couldn't. It was on Twitter. I can't get on Twitter. Every time I get a link to Facebook or Twitter, I can't watch it because it, you got to be signed into them and they don't even let you just watch it to figure out if you want to get signed into them. Tina McCloy, the Army Corps of Engineers is there. I saw an interview with somebody who said he was the director of the Army Corps of Engineers and that they are on site 24 seven right now. That was it two days ago. I saw that guy on a uh, news broadcast. So the Army Corps of Engineers is there on the scene 24 seven at this, as of two days ago. The big crane showed up. They're gonna get that piece of section off the bridge or the ship, off the bow of the ship. Yeah, there was, uh, I watched a walkthrough. NTSB inspectors and Coast Guard inspectors were looking like the geniuses they are. They just were taking pictures of everything, walking through like the wreckage area. And there were 55 gallon drums that were like knocked all over the place, all dented up. Uh, I imagine a lot of that stuff is in the water. Early reports were that there was refined fuel products in uh, in those containers. So they would probably be in 55 gallon drums inside those containers. Yeah, they got to move that crane. It's going to take a while to move that. That is like the biggest crane on the East Coast. And uh, it, it takes a little bit. Okay, Angelina. Yeah, if it's on YouTube, send it to me, man. Thanks. Hi, Ridgeline. Another trusty mod in the house. How are you doing? You're like busy over there, Ridgeline. You got a lot going on. That's awesome. There's an airspace restriction over the site for three miles in every direction and no drones, no nothing. Are they keeping uh, boat traffic out of there too? No escort boats, first clue. All right, well, that's what they did in Maui. That's what they do when they want to cover up a crime scene. You don't allow the press in there. All right, well, I got my, my buddy, uh, Saya, with Free Roam Baltimore. He's going to try to get out there and find spots where he can film out there. I don't know that he's put up anything today, but Free Roam Baltimore, he's a, he's a boots-on-the-ground patriot YouTuber in that area. So I, I, would, I would imagine he's kind of keeping an eye on things there. We'll have to see if there's any other YouTubers that are... Uh, that are trying to stay up on the story. I had a guy last night, one of you guys told me to check out, let me get this guy's name here. Okay, there was a channel called Emergency Management Associates with a guy named Ron Tyler on there. I watched about an hour of him and he had a lot of good information on there. Uh, I didn't get like a, a Jesus message from the guy, so he didn't pass that part of muster. And uh, I don't know, I just was uh, evaluating the information that Ron Tyler was giving me from Emergency Management Associates. I don't, he, he claims that he is a, an accident inspector, but his, his uh, Forte was 
automobile accidents or something like that, but he does know how accident investigations proceed. So he had a lot of good information there, man. Yeah, Boomer, eyes open, man. More, more stuff incoming, no doubt. It does seem like with the birth pangs thing, that bridge uh, was a the end of one of the birth pangs. So there does seem to be a lull right now, but sooner or later and quicker than the last time, it, they're going to fire up again. So yeah, uh, heads on a swivel, heads up for everything. Make sure you got water. Just try to be ready to be self-sustainable for a week or two minimum. Because we don't know what they're going to do. They're cornered animals. The deep state's going down. Because God has given us the power to stand against it. Yeah, Greg, we're going to try to remain reasonable and see what information comes out and stuff. But as soon as you start not allowing other people to watch the investigation, you gotta know something's up, man. Gotta know something's up there. YouTube is messing with that Ron Taylor guy? Yeah, he was got, he had a real, it was a little glitchy there for a while, but he put out like a two hour video last night. I watched the last video that he put out, which is what I think you told me, Gene. And there's a lot of stuff that I know, I'm a concrete guy. I know about concrete. It just seems unfathomable that that ship could have knocked all four of them pillars over at one time. It seems like it would have knocked one over and then the other one and then the other one. But, man, that ship just hit them. Boom, they were taken out. And that ship got under the bridge before the whole thing fell. I mean, it just seems, it's, it looks odd to me. It looks odd, man. Is Angelina's mom in here? How you doing, Cindy? Glory be, hello, hello. Hi, Carol Porch. They've shut him down before. Okay, that Ron Tyler guy. I haven't seen any other videos from him before, so I don't know how his normal digest of things goes, but I know there is a lot of guys like that. Like if there's an airplane crash, there's people you look up, they've been reporting on airplane crashes. You just gotta find them when that event happens. So I'm checking Ron Tyler out and I, I appreciate you uh, forwarding me that guy's channel so I can check him out. Uh, did you guys hear the story about the guy that swam to shore? Like one of them construction workers, Ron Taylor, told me this last night. There was two guys that were in a pickup truck that died. They pulled them out of the pickup truck and brought them to the surface. There were two other guys that uh, one was in the hospital and the other one swam to shore and was examined and released from the hospital. Not wounded at all, but the other guy couldn't swim somehow and I don't know if he got beat up on the, when the bridge fell down, but that's four out of the six known construction workers that were on the deck of that bridge when that happened. And the other two, uh, as of last night or this morning, they were still missing. So they're still looking for the other two. And uh, diving, uh, missions like that. There is a lot of uh, variables. Like you say, there is times when you cannot dive safely, for sure. Now you're diving around scrap metal all over the place. I worked with some divers before and it can get sketchy. It gets very sketchy. All right, glory be. Ready to hit the road again.
Check out Conservative Grounds Cafe, Trump Rally. What does everyone want to see? 180 foot drop, 882 foot drop. That's why I was amazed to hear that guy survive, man. But it could have happened, you know? I mean, he, he could have dropped, he could have been on the one end and then just slid down the highway deck into the water. I don't know, man. I'd like to know why we didn't hear any uh, bullhorns or anything off of that ship right before it hit. Yeah, the two in the truck were the workers. Yeah. So that's what we got, Patriots. Uh, as far as other news goes, Bill Clinton's new face installed. Uh, not a whole lot. But what is up with Bill Clinton's face, man? <laughs> All right, Sylvia's got a lake for you here. Where did we go? If you haven't checked this guy out, check him out. Let me know what you think of him. And uh, he, is, he is diligently seeking out, and I'll bet he's watching every available video on this topic right now and uh trying to give us a digest of what he's seeing you know that's basically what he kept saying he says i'm watching everything right now and uh has pretty much seen every video clip there is to be seen he knew of uh three different angles of that bridge collapse camera angles of it i've only seen one so far and i did see uh some close-up footage that was filmed apparently off of a car coast guard boat of those concrete pilings, and it doesn't look right to me, man. It does not look right to me. And you guys are an awesome family here. If I can, ask for a donation. If you like what you what we're seeing here, the only way we can you can donate to my uh, expenses is uh, through this post office box in Lancaster here. And if you're a troll. Uh, just send me whatever you want to send me. I don't care. I've gotten hate mail. It's interesting. I show all my friends. They can't believe people go through the time to uh, send a letter like that or a card. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it anymore, but I show my, my uh, friends that are wavering on deciding if Trump should be elected or not. And he goes, holy. They go, whoa, these people are crazy sent you that that's funny man wow okay we got that missing boy 15 year old boy in Tennessee man there's demons out there patriots there's a demon in the white house they're everywhere heads up man watch your kids don't let them anywhere near them uh Make sure we're all ready for whatever's coming. Praise God for a good night's rest and another day of waking up ready to fight the the demons that are uh, every, surrounding us right now. Our, we are surrounded. We have to figure out how we are going to stand up, America. National strike time. Uh, today was Friday. Uh, we got to, somehow or another, we got to come together in the millions and just peacefully make Joe Biden walk out of that white house the fjb walkout make him do a perp walk out of that white house he's an illegitimate president the election was rigged everybody that had to do with the uh actual coup d'etat that happened on january 20th 2021 need to be held accountable and removed and we need to have new and fair elections new and fair elections man so patriots i'm going to leave it at that I'll see you. I, I'm not going to. Well, I don't know. I got to see if I get into the chat tonight. I might not be able to make it tonight, though. But, uh, and that will determine whether or not I can do a live stream tomorrow also. But we'll just see what happens, man. We'll just see what happens here, Patriots. Thanks for coming in and joining with me today. Staying centered and on God. Glory, hallelujah. We got a Savior so that we can have a... a, a a reconciled relationship with God and uh, learn more, learn more about your Savior. I think more, 
more interesting than to learn aspects of this bridge disaster would be to learn something new about your savior. Uh, it's obvious that we don't know everything about him. It is a, it, it will take eternity to learn everything and it will be fun because uh, our God is an awesome God and he has made plans so that we as sinners are not, we as the outcasts are, are not cast out. So God bless you all patriots. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next time. This is Jericho over and out.